Hi, I'm Dan with Intermatic's technical support team. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to install an ST01C timer in a three-way application. Before we get started, there's a couple things I wanted to cover. Before working on any electronic circuit, it's important to turn the power off at the breaker before you start working. Please know that you can only install the timer on a switch with constant voltage. Additionally, to install the timer, we're going to need a couple tools. We'll need a flat blade screwdriver, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver. So now that we've covered those few topics, let's get started with okay, installing the We're going to need to locate the common wire on our three-way switch. To find the common wire, remove the switch from the wall and locate the odd colored screw. That will be the common wire. We're going to remove the common and connect it to the black wire on the timer. We're going to remove one of the remaining wires from the three-way switch and connect it to the red wire on the timer. Finally, take the last wire off the three-way switch and connect it to the blue wire on the timer. Make note of the wire color because you'll need this later. The last connection we're going to do is the green ground connection. If you do not have a ground wire in the box, the ground is not required for the timer to operate. So now that we've got the timer installed in the wall, we're going to need to install the jumper wire which comes with the timer at the other three-way switch, the other switch that controls the same lights. So we'll need to remove the other three-way switch from the wall. Now that we've got the other three-way switch removed from the wall, we need to, again, locate the common terminal and remove the wire from the common terminal. Again, the common terminal on a three-way switch is the odd-colored screw. Now that we have our common wire removed, we need to remove the wire that we noted before that is connected to the blue wire from the switch. We've got the common wire, the other wire, as well as the short jumper wire. We're going to connect all three under a wire nut. Then run the bare end of the jumper wire back to the common terminal. Once you have that completed, you can insert the three-way switch back into the wall. Now that you have both of the wall plates secured to the wall covering the switches, it's safe to turn the power back on so we can test the timer and the three-way switch. You'll want to make sure that you can turn it on and off from both locations. To turn it on and off from the timer, all you need to do is press the door that covers the buttons. Press it once, it turns on. Press it again, it should turn off. This concludes the installation of the ST01C timer in a three-way application. For more information about our products, please visit us on the web at www.intermatic.com.